Probably about five years ago, I began to notice, because I used to be one of those people I could like hear you talk and hear what was going on out here mm -hmm. and, and do something over here. But it was a gradual thing, and he said it had been a gradual thing. But I really started noticing about five years ago, but it got really hard about three. Oh. It's to the point now where I almost get in tears trying to, at times, you know, until people have it happen, they really don't understand it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't. And mm -hmm. my dad was very hard of hearing and my grandpa, but they both worked in the refinery and they blamed it on the noise of the refinery, but I probably wasn't. Oh, I'll probably interact a little more because I, I kind of, you know, I kind of just sit back and let everybody do the talking. And if I really want to know, I'll go, huh? <laughs> you know, or what did you say? But I was telling David, you know, all of our family has loud voices, but when they get around me, it's like they talk like this and wonder why I can't hear them. <laughs> so, but my youngest, Jacob, he was getting very, ooh. He's very impatient, so. <laughs> he told me for my birthday in November, he wanted me to come for the uh, thing they were doing for try hearing aids for the holidays. Uh -huh. And so he started it, and then it was my older son said, well, the Tulsa World has a contest. Maybe we should enter mom. So on my birthday, November the 7th, one thing led to the other, and they started writing things down, and then my daughter-in-law just made a brief essay of all of it, I guess, so. Mm -hmm. I'll be able to hear people, and they, uh, people won't be getting so mad. <laughs> now, I'll be getting mad. Why? <laughs> I'll be able to hear them. <laughs> and they'll be talking about me, I don't know what I can hear them. Uh -oh. In all ways. Um, one, he'll be able to hear the grandchildren and the great-grandchildren and he'll get to participate in conversations with the family much more. Here's some of the definitely the Christmas music going on. Okay, mm -hmm. He has his Christmas party at the uh, Cimarron Point nursing home this Friday and he'll be able to understand and see what's going on with that. When, when my neighbors talk to me, I don't have to go like that, <laughs> you know. And um, at church, I can hear the minister. <laughs> Just, it'll change every day. It's, it's a miracle. I can hear you, <laughs> you know. And I couldn't hear hardly anything out of this ear. So it's just the one ear. Right. This one's kind of partial, but this okay. one's the worst okay. one. Oh, it's been a blessing that I can hear people now and not be afraid to cross the street, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, be able to help my neighbors when they need help because they're all older. They're like 80s and 90s. I'm the baby at 71. And it's just a, it's a blessing to be able to hear, you know, because you never know what it's like until you can't. You just take it for granted.